What's good, YouTube? Flash be back for another video. All right, we got a couple uh, issues here. Um, first of all, we knew the Boston Celtics won last night. Nothing about that I like. Uh, can't stand the Boston Celtics. I think I talked about that a little earlier. All right, um, Philadelphia Eagles news, man. Um, and then we got some... Uh, Hayden Clark has probably the best game I've seen I have, but Philadelphia Eagles, man. Um, listen, all day... And this is why I hate our local media, okay? Jalen Hurts has a uh, interview yesterday, you know, with the media, which if I was him, I would just stop doing. I would just stop talking to these dudes. I, don't, I would just pay the fine on some Marshawn Lynch type stuff because these dudes are like, you don't really need them for real, for real to, to promote the Eagles. Eagles are going to sell out anyway. You know what I mean? Like, so they're, they're really not needed, but they don't understand the memo. So anyway... First, they're asking him about, you know, the new offense and so on, how that's working, his relationship with Kellen Moore, the new offensive coordinator. And all of that is pretty much going well. Um, Jalen Hurts explains that it's a lot of 95% uh, new, new plays, right? <laughs> I'm sure there's some hyperbole to that, but meaning there's just going to be a totally different offense, a lot of new plays. Some reporter then proceeds to ask him, about Nick Sirianni. How's Nick Sirianni coming along? Um, now, Jalen Hurts answers it in a way where he does not just give Nick Sirianni all his praise and everything. And because of that, um, these people here, WIP, and I didn't listen to 97.5 or whatever, but WIP, morning show uh, with this dude, Jody Cameron, John Ritchie, the former Eagle, all of them. I don't think Ritchie was there, so I'm not going to put him in it. But these dudes are taking and twisting these words just because Jalen Hurts didn't kiss Nick Sirianni's ass to mean that um, he throws him under the bus. This is what this is what they're doing right now, you know, like 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 some broads. And I don't mean to insult women with this. I don't mean that. I'm just here to insult these guys. They are going around with this narrative that Jalen Hurts has all these problems with Nick Sirianni. Now the crazy part about the whole thing is. The majority of the fans don't like Nick Sirianni anyway. Feel like he's on the clock. Um, the majority of the guys at WIP don't really like him if you were to ask most of them separately about Nick Sirianni. However, they're expecting Jalen Hurst to get up here and just come with all his high praise and everything like that. Now, he didn't say anything bad about him at all, but they didn't want to put the whole burden on him to just sit up there and lie in front, even though they know he'd be lying probably, or they would think he's lying if he did do that. They know Nick Sirianni is not running the offense. They know it's a Kellen Moore offense. Yet they're asking a question about how Nick Sirianni is getting along with it. Honestly, I think Jalen Hurst thought it was a stupid-ass question, and that's why he answered it the way he answered it. That's what I got out of it. Because, like, how the hell does he know how Nick Sirianni feels about what's going on? How would Jalen Hurst know? Ask him. Jalen Hurts probably should have said, I don't know, ask him. It's probably what he should have said. And they probably, like some bras, would interpret that in some type of way as well, which is um, ridiculous. Um, if I'm Jalen Hurts, listen, real fans, bro, we behind you, man. We behind you 100%. We remember what you did two years ago. And we also understand that the media is the reason why we can't have nice things. And the sheep, the morons who actually follow this media, who actually lead, who let the, those talking points drive their opinions. Me, I don't need none. I don't need any of them. I can watch with my own eyes what's going on and so on, right? What Jalen Hurts is probably frustrated about is that he knows that if we have a successful season, that uh, Keller Moore will likely get a job somewhere else. That's the problem. So, But what he should keep in mind is so long as they don't extend Nick Sirianni's contract, which they shouldn't, so long as he does not get extended, it's likely that they'll still get rid of him. And maybe tell him more because he does a good, if he does a great job, becomes the head coach. Because that's the only way we can keep a consistent offense. All right. Now, anyway, on to WNBA games tonight. All right. Uh, Caitlin Clark and Indiana Fever take on um, rookie. Uh, who's the rookie there that they got? Oh, my goodness. Uh, Edwards. 
right, who balled out yesterday against uh, Angel Reese in the sky. Uh, and Caitlin Clark uh, puts on a master class, like a masterpiece um, in this particular game. Um, she hit seven of 13 threes. It was really in that third quarter where the game got a little tight, a little tighter than it should have been. And she grabbed uh, she grabbed the Thanos Affinity Gauntlet, put a couple stones up in there. It wasn't all five stones, but she had a couple stones in there and went crazy, went bonkers, you know, hitting threes from all over the place. Bop, 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 bop. It makes you wonder. Like, listen, all of you fans of hers complaining about, you know, them sticking her 75 feet and all of that. Shit, they got to because they can't, they don't want that to happen. All right. Now, make no mistake, still seven turnovers. It's a little bit too much, but. We're rookie, you know what I mean? Um, listen, Erica Wheeler, y'all. Erica Wheeler. Listen, man, I support my sisters, but Erica Wheeler is a disaster. You got to get rid of her, man. She, she, she got to get, you got to get rid of Erica. And, um, wow. And Alyssa Smith struggled a little bit. Grabbed ten boards. Needed all of those. Those second chance points <laughs> are very important. I'm noticing in women's basketball, just like just in general. Women in the W, they're not as efficient as the men. Like, I've noticed that. Like, just a, a good scorer is almost around 45%, I'm noticing. A lot of guards are around 38%. I mean, it is what it is. You can't judge men in, in women's basketball on the same level at the same way. Like, if you have an eye for the men's game, you can't judge it at the same, at the same level. That's like it's like judging um, Shakari Richardson because she can't run under 10, you know, seconds, you know, doing 100 meters. She, under 11 is what women do. They don't... You know, they don't do under under 10, like like men do, right? So, but we don't judge. It's a different scale. Look at it with a different eye, all right? Uh, but one thing, though, man, uh, what makes, separates Caitlin and some of the other, some of the elite players in the, in the league is she shoots with a, a real form, you know, a natural form. A lot of the ladies in W, man, are shooting off the shoulder and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, they got to get rid of that, man. So, so Kate opened up the offender guard in, in that in that third quarter. Uh, she went crazy. Um, go for uh, and go for the fever, man. Uh, it's a good thing they got that rest because um, you know like you say they played more games than everybody. It's starting to even out now because the Mystics played eleven games, Fever just played twelve. So that's not too bad, right? Um, now, uh, before we go, go too crazy here, uh, the Mystics were at a rest disadvantage here. Now. Fever are used to dealing with the rest disadvantage. Here, the Fever did play last. Uh, Mystics did play last night. Fever caught them at the right time, but still, whatever. Fever had a little. They had better uh, ball movement going on. Uh, there are more assists around the board. Wheeler, who is a disaster often, did have five assists. Uh, Caitlin said dropped uh, six, uh, six assists. Kelsey Mitchell, who had a strong game, sixteen points. That's the thing. You got to have that backcourt. That backcourt. Really, you look at it, man. They don't have a bad squad. Because you got to look at Smith and Boston. Leah, Leah Boston is nice. You know, she really is. I mean, she missed them free throws at the end. I know she's telling herself about that. That could almost cost them the game. That will cost you the game against the Suns, who they play next, or a team like that. The Aces, can't go out there and do that. Got to gotta do better than that. Um, but this is a game here. Uh but they, they chipped in. Um, let me see here. Very, very, very. But, but like, like I said, they got two good bigs. Boston and Smith are good bigs. You know, Boston can score in the post. Now, listen, Smith is your defender, your rebounder, your hustle player. Um, Kelsey Mitchell and Clark got to work something out. Now, I get where some of the fans are saying Mitchell doesn't pass to Clark enough. That's kind of true, but sometimes in the heat of the moment, and also you, you never know like how the coaches is how the coaches instructing them. Size might be telling her, "Look, Kelsey, we need you to go out there and get twenty. You don't know, and, and until you know those things, you don't really judge it. Like a lot of you out there assuming that she's just doesn't want to pass it, doesn't like her, and all of that. You don't know that. A lot of times you gotta have more information before you start running with that stuff. Right? It could be that it's her responsibility. It's part of the game plan to go out there and get 20 points. And she's like, all right, to get 20, I need to go attack. And they do need her to attack because that takes pressure off of Caitlin and, and the others. Like, it's a team game. 
Uh, Fag Bentley must still be hurt. Yeah, she she get her back, man. I forgot about Fag Bentley. You know, you get her back, Fag Bentley. Man, they don't have a bad squad, y'all. They just need to work together. And here, uh, next game, like I said, I think it's against the Sun. I don't think they're winning that one. But then after that, I think they get uh, a winnable game against um, man, 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 man. Um, mm, I forget. I forget who they play next after the Sun. But it's winnable. Right. Um, all right, so Caitlin, like I said, man, she opened up the affinity going a little on. Did a thing. That's why you got to guard her. That's why you got to guard her <laughs> 34 feet because you don't want her to do that. It's seven damn threes on your ass. You know what I mean? Uh, that's all out of respect, y'all. That ain't out of hate. That's out of respect. You know, like, like shoot from the logo. Shit, got to guard her from the logo. You know what I mean? Uh, Edwards, I think, was tired, honestly. Because she, she balled out yesterday. But she still gave you 12 rebounds, 10 points. But, like, them free throws, man, these ladies, man. They, that's really what lost it for them. You know, I had the, uh, this Mystics team, they just find ways to lose, man. You know, if they'd have hit their free throws, you know, they would have had a good chance of winning this game. Um, Caitlin Clark balled out. Got to stop them damn turnovers, though. Seven turnovers. That's the thing you got to stop. But, um. Pretty good, man. And she showed she showed a little bit. She showed some leadership, man. Like I give her that. At the end of that game, that thing was a lot of closer than it needed to be. Caitlin took and she kept the ball to herself. You know, excellent free throw shooter. She took those fouls, drained her free throws after Leah missed those two. You know what I mean? Hey, that's leadership, man. And um, and Caitlin, man, be nice to your teammates. You know what I mean? You the star coming in, buy them some watches. That's what I see. Buy them all some Rolexes. Shit, you got millions. You know what I mean? You'll be amazed to see what they do. Oh, buy no, 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 no. Got a lot of black women. Buy them some pocketbooks. Go get them some Gucci pocketbooks. All right. Trust me. Say Gucci pocketbooks. And they're going to play harder. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, man. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so. That's pretty much all I got, man, tonight. Uh, give with y'all, give with y'all, give with you peoples tomorrow. Peace out.